Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Anguilla. We are back this evening in the British, uh, the Britain Norman Islander from Anguilla Air Services. And we're going to give it another go to fly over to St. Barthelemy. Uh, this apparently, this whole rocking deal is um, courtesy of uh, FS Realistic, which apparently makes the planes do this on the ground, which is, of course, unrealistic, but that's all right. All right, rotating beacon on. We'll go mixtures and props full forward. Master and battery switches on. Fuel pumps on. We'll open the fuel valves. Open the starter hood. Clear prop. Uh, magnetos on left. <laughs> how many times? I wonder how many years. It's probably been a good two years that I said I'm going to go into my config file and disable those things. Uh, let's clear the props. Let's take a, uh, uh, let's crack the throttles. Let's take a quick look outside. Make sure there's nobody outside to kill or maim. And. Let's get the right engine started. Oil pressure looking good. Left prop is clear. Alright. Left engine is started. Magnetos to both. Let's go avionics master on. Oil pressure is good on both. Let's turn the oil pressure. Uh, let's turn the oil pressure off. Yeah, let's turn the fuel pumps off. Lean the mixtures to pull the power back a little bit. Uh, we do have, there's a big 128.95, there's a big uh, event going on in the Caribbean for, for Vatsim right now, which is fantastic. Um, I wish I was interested in taking part. Everybody's going down to, it's Barbados. Everybody's going down to Barbados. Um, it's not that I'm not, is it 128.95? 128.95. Uh, it's not that I'm not interested in taking part. It's a, cause I'm kind of zoned in right now to, uh, To St. Bart's. Let's turn the external power supply off. Nav and strobe lights on. And uh, let's flip this over here. We should probably put 122.8 in the backup just because we're probably going to get handed off to. Probably going to get uh, switched to advisory once we get over there. Alright, here we go. PWA-470, are you ready for departure? Hmm. Somebody... You always want to listen on frequency when you first get on frequency. PWA-470, after for departure, fly heading 180, climb to 4,000 feet, surface wind 380 degrees, level knot, runway 10, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading 10, takeoff, fly to 4,000, PWA 470 negative, after departure, fly heading 180. After departure, fly heading 180, PWA 470. Juliana, approach Anguilla 264. Anguilla 264, Juliana, approach it is, go ahead. Uh, approach uh, Anguilla 264, I'm on the ground at Anguilla, ready to taxi, uh, looking to go VFR to St. Bart's. Angela 264, Roger, taxi holding point Bravo, runway 11. Crash runway 10. Holding point Bravo, runway 10. Do you have an altimeter setting, uh, Angula 264? Uh, yes, the KNH is 1017. Roger, thank you. 1017, I figured it's just as easy to ask him than, uh, than to go looking around. Alright, so. Uh, you do have to release the parking brake first and then apply your, your, uh, pill brakes, otherwise... 
Otherwise, your tow brakes won't work. Uh, field elevation is within 75 feet of our indicated altitude. Uh, artificial horizon is erect. Let's check our brakes. Brakes are working. You always want to check your brakes as soon as you get moving. Um, there's a bus driving around randomly. Uh, all right. Uh, turn coordinator is turning in the direction of the turn. The ball is swinging to the outside. Heading indicator is indicating known headings. So I think we are in pretty good shape ladies and gentlemen let's put down the takeoff flaps turn on the fuel pumps uh, it seems like he's getting quite a bit of uh, text messages here instrucciones uh, So, ready to rumble. Uh, Julian, approach. Anguilla 264, holding short runway 1 and 1 at Bravo, ready for departure. Anguilla 264, Roger. Maintain CFR at about 1,500 feet. Uh, departure runway will be runway 10 and uh, squawk 4574. Alright, 4, 5. Seven four. All right. Uh, maintain VFR at or below fifteen hundred. Squawking four five seven four for Anguilla two six four. Anguilla two six four. Read back correct. Uh, you report back correct. Uh, negative. Anguilla two six four. Anguilla two six four. Surface winds are one zero degrees one nine knots. Runway one zero. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Runway one zero. Anguilla two six four. All right. Mitch. EWA four seven zero. Stay passing altitude. Mixtures and props full for a few pumps around flaps are set. Seatbelts are secure. We are ready to go. Uh, it is runway 1 1, by the way. But uh, they still actually have runway 1 0 painted on the runway itself. But it's been runway 1 0 forever. Um, the Earth's magnetic field is constantly shifting. And that after a certain amount of time, uh, the heading, the magnetic heading of the runway will actually change enough that uh, it has to, you have to change the runway numbers. Um, uh, Princess Giuliana used to be runway num uh, runway nine. So heading indicator checks with the runway number. Takeoff power is coming in. Takeoff power is set. Temperatures and pressures in the green, airspeed is alive, accelerating normally. 70 knots and rotate. Yeah, to first of all, ready for taxi. India 25 Abu Bravo, taxi holding point Bravo, runway 10. Zero, holding point Bravo, runway 10. Alright. Uh, Props back, bring the manifold pressure back to 25, make our turn out here. Uh, 500 feet AGL is good to put up the flaps. Trim out the change in control pressures. And off we go. 100 knots in the climb is good. Um, so I am using live weather again. And go to 264 for a one third. It's good at the first report uh, Sugarloaf. Report Sugarloaf for Angola 264. And yeah, I mean it's looking it's looking good. TWA four seven zero contact change one seven one eight decimal one five today. It always did look good in contact Sam one center at one one eight point one five. See, I think today's speed. Yeah. 
always did look Windward good. Windward 461, uh, good to seeing you again at flight level 150, and that on the visual approach, runway 10. Windward 461, Julian approach, hello again. Julian, information Bravo, can join the right downwind for runway 10. Say again, can join the what? Join the right downwind for runway 10. The right downwind for runway 10, thank you. Um, yeah, there goes the other two five alpha grapples for points ready for departure. Ready for departure, range at five alpha bravo. The two five alpha grapples, Roger, up departure, flight heading one eight zero, climb to four thousand feet, surface wind zero eight degrees, one one knot, runway one zero, clear for takeoff. After departure, ending uh, one eight zero, uh, four thousand feet, range at five alpha bravo. Yes, I'm clear for takeoff, I'm going to take off around 1-0. I can feel we got a wind out of the left here. It's always hard to make videos when there's a lot of that sim traffic because you, you're constantly starting to say something and then you have to stop. Um, Alright. I can't tell you how much I want to be in this part of the world. Like no place else. When we're at 461, circuit wind 083, one the knot, from the 10, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 10, uh, windward 461, thank you. India 25, Upper Bravo, safe oxygen oxygen. India 25, Upper Bravo, uh, 1600. India 2, Fire Alpha Bravo identified, climb to flight level 150. Climb to level 150, India 2, Fire Alpha Bravo. And airplane's getting the yo-yo again here, which I don't... I've never quite figured out. India 2, Fire Alpha Bravo, we put all navigation, we direct to a low post. We're quite understood why. Proceed to direct a low point to try to bravo. But it's what it does. Um, so this is probably not the best time to talk. Well, you know what? I'll save. I'll save my diatribe for later. Uh, I was going to talk a little bit about um, the changes that have happened in this simulator. You know, we're all looking forward now. <laughs> we're all. We're all over. 2020, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, um, and people either seem to be looking forward to uh, Flight Simulator 2024, or just appalled that it's happening, which is, I just, I, I can't quite figure out, I, you know, um, You know, it's it's a year away. We don't really know too much about it, uh, and everybody's like, "Oh, well, uh, not everybody, but there's there's quite a significant number of people in the flight sim community that are like beside themselves about about Approach I don't know what American Six Six Heavy with Bravo clearance to Grantley. American 66, Juliana approach, hello, Bravo is correct, clear to destination Barbados via radar packet departure, runway 10, initial climb 4,000 feet, squawk 4524. Alright, clear radar vectors, uh, departure 10, 4524, American 66. American 66, that correct, report ready for push and start. Four, thank you, American 66. We're 461 at Charlie, uh, for taxi, Charlie 2 is possible. 
Lynn Lewis, Fortex 1, welcome back to Judy on the airport. Taxi stand, Charlie 2, good evening. Taxi to Charlie 2, thank you. My instrument instructor used to chime. In the uh, two five upper brackets, contact uh, PR for radar on one two three ten with him. Four he used to get on my case for accepting deviations in altitude and heading. Like I'd be off by a hundred feet and I'd just sit there and watch it, or I'd be like paralleling. Quando ti ha dato one 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 eight one five zero in the train for Bravo. Thank you. Paralleling one two three ten with him. And I would just kind of tolerate it, and he would, he would always get on my case for that, rightfully so. Um, in this particular case, I'm not worried about being off my course because I got to come down here and hang a left to come into St. Barnes. Um, so I did them. I, I got on Google Maps. I, I, first of all, I got on YouTube, watched a couple really uh, high definition videos that showed the instruments of a couple islanders flying into St. Bart's. And as I suspected, most of, the, most of them come in 80 to 90 knots, which by the book is too fast, but that's what they do. Uh, then I got on uh, Then I got on Google Maps and I measured the distance from Uh, that's Foreshoe right there. From Sugarloaf, which is here, to this and line. And approach here. American 667, gate out for one, and we're ready for push. American 66, push inside of three. Thank you. Uh, let's bring the props back, let's bring the power back. Get into flap range. And then the distance from Sugarloaf and this little island here to the traffic circle. Station calling to you on our first unreadable. Check your mic. Might be good. Good evening, November 1904. Six Charlie requesting IR4 on Clarence to tie with Zach and Charlie Bobble. November 14th, Charlie. Juliana, first hello. Step up a period. Come to one. Alright, a few pumps coming on. Mixtures are rich. Props will get to shortly, and you can feel that left wind. Um, Number one fourth of Charlie Kirby. Fourth of Charlie, go ahead. Number one fourth of Charlie, Juliana Information Bravo. Prepare to tango tango Charlie Pasta. Via radar practice departure, runway one zero. Initial climb is 4,000 feet and uh, squawk 4567. We're clear, read another I two, uh, uh, look. Book plan 4000, uh, um, departure with duty squad 4567. So I want 80 knots. Number one part of Charlie, read back correct. Uh, when ready for startup, contact uh, Juliana Tower on 118 that move Alright, mixtures and props will forward. On 18.7 already. Pumps around, flaps are set. Juliana approach, Anguilla 264, Sugarloaf inbound runway 10 at St. Bart's. Anguilla 264, Roger, surface winds are 110 degrees, 17 knots, runway 1083. Little land 10, uh, Anguilla 264. Alright, so what I want now is 80 knots. And Woodward for and 800 one for the ESR to St. Bart's again. Then we're at 4 one Roger. In that case, contact Juliana Tower on what link that we're going to Going with Juliana Tower, thank you. I want to cross that island right there in front of us at American 6-6, Juliana, first. Go 6-6. 
American 66, uh, when you're ready for taxi, you can contact Juliana Tower on 187 with him. 27 now, and ready, uh, American 66. Alright, make sure some pops full forward, fuel pumps are on, flaps are set, seatbelts are secure. Come on, baby. I think we got a little bit of a headwind here, so we're want a little bit less of a descent rate. The thing is, you're always thinking about uh, indicated airspeed, but really what it is, is your ground speed that makes the difference. So right now, getting a little bit low. So we'll just put some power in. We're still all right. We're still all right. Yeah, that's quite a wind we've got. So. Yeah, you can see the wind socks are sticking out. I think we're in pretty good shape, really. Whether we're going to be able to kick this crab out or not is another story. Pull, pull some power out and get some airspeed out of here. Alright, and there we go. Power out. See that, though? I mean, that wasn't great, but it really wasn't too bad. It was, um, I felt a lot more in control of that one. So, and the thing is, is just to have a picture of what you're trying to do. You know, and I just had, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, any other airplane flying in, flying any other approach I'm very precise about you know how I want that approach profile to look you know uh, descent rate I'm conscious of my ground speed etc etc then I come to St. Bart's and I'm like eh we'll figure it out you know it just doesn't make any sense if there's any place that you're going to want to, you know, be really precise, it's certainly going to be. Okay, that's 264, welcome to St. Park. Backtrack, on discretion, and I want to take any calls. What do you got to wait? 1228, uh, for Angola 264, thank you. And, uh, so. That was a much more successful uh, go into St. Barth's, our last one. And do they fly? You know what? This is probably. It's probably. Uh, that's him traffic right there. So I'm thinking to myself, do they fly ATRs into Anguilla? Or into St. Barth's? I don't think so. Uh, but. at idle, mixtures idle, cut off, set the parking brake, let's open the window for crying out loud, let's turn our lights off, alright, avionics master, coming off, fuel pumps are off, flaps coming up, we have avoided making ourselves look foolish, well, I don't know about 
about that, but a uh, few pumps are off. Avionics master is off. Master and battery switches are off. And let's open the doors and let the humans free. Um, that one was pretty good. I don't have... One thing I don't have is any sort of... Um, program to measure my landing rates when I'm not using uh, when I'm not using any kind of A cars and so if any of you guys have something to recommend as far as that goes I would appreciate it because um, I can't look and see what my landing rate was because I don't know and that airplane is not on bad sim and i'm debating right now how about we go back to anguilla you guys want to go back to anguilla all right let's go back to anguilla all right let's get on board uh take our uh take our passengers back um so, uh, we got everybody boarded. Let's close the doors. Let's keep the windows open, though. Cause it is hot in here. She agrees. She knows it's hot in here. All right. Uh, that's one thing you'll you'll notice usually when you get in airplanes. Is the fuel valves are usually open for any sort of piston engine plane because there's just no reason to turn the fuel valves off. Uh, unless you've got a fire. <laughs> Alright, external power supply on, rotating beacon on. Mixtures and props are full forward. Master and battery switches on. Let's crack the throttle. There's fuel pumps coming on. I don't do this in a particular order, which I do with like a Cherokee, for example. Uh, which I probably should. But... Clear! All right, props are clear. Always put your toes on the tow brakes, even if you've got the parking brakes set, because you just want to make sure that plane's not going anywhere. Because <laughs> a lot of times, especially like when you're starting an engine, you're going to be looking at the manifold pressure, you're going to be looking at your oil pressure gauge, um, you know, when you're starting, and you, you'd you be surprised. You're sitting here looking like this, and all of a sudden you look up, and you're about to taxi right over the end of that, off the pavement there. Um, all right. So, mixture is possible for fuel pumps are on, fuel valves are open. Magnetos on left and by left. I mean, the, with the with the rotational switch, it'll be right mag, left mag, rather than left, number one and number two. But anyway, uh, nobody outside to kill or maim. And we will start the right-hand engine. Uh, oil pressure is good. And why do they call it star port and starboard on airplanes? Like, and why are, let's start the left engine here. Alright, left engine start is good. Mag magnetos to both. Uh, avionics master on. Let's lean the mixtures. Close the starter. Fuel pumps off. So, you notice port and starboard, right? And you'll notice when we turn the lights on here, we've got green on the on the right wing tip, red on the left wing tip, Fresno American 66 heavy, would you have 3.1 heading white on the tail. American 66, Juliana Freshetto, identify, climb to flight for 150, turn left heading 110. 110 and up to 150, American 66. Yeah, to 211, speed to flight level 70. I didn't switch radio frequencies. And why is that? It's because they they uh, model all this stuff in airplanes on uh, nautical rules, I suppose you could say. So external power supply off. Let's release the parking brake and hit the tow brakes. So, 
make sure we don't have any traffic. Any traffic coming in, that is. I don't see any. Uh, Alright. Taxi to the runway, I guess. Check our brakes. The brakes are working. Same part as traffic. Google 264 taxi in the way of the zero. Be a taxi way out the same part. That's my way of letting that guy know he should be talking on the radio. Because he should be. Somebody right there. I don't know. It, it says it's a. Uh, it says it's a Cessna 208. It's clearly not a Cessna 208. And this plane is having some trouble getting up this hill. Flaps, let's close the window. A few pumps on. Mixtures and props full forward. Let's turn on the landing lights. I uh, do not see any traffic on the GPS. Um, so, off we go. St. Bart's traffic and we'll let 264 taking runway 104 uh, a left downwind departure to the north. Uh, St. Bart's. Trying to get as much runway behind uh, in front of us as we can. And we'll do basically what's a short field takeoff here. These planes are always a little weird to handle on the ground. With any sort of precision, anyway. Alright, so there we go. Let's apply the brakes. Mixtures props full forward, fuel pumps are on, flaps are set, seat belts are secure. Takeoff power coming in. Takeoff power is set. Engine instruments are in the green. Release the parking brakes. I didn't check by trim, which was not smart. Alright, airspeed's alive, accelerating normally. And off we go. Bit of a crosswind there. Yeah. 
that screenshot right there. Whoopsie daisy, and we're gonna have a screenshot of our passengers vomiting. Alright, let's put the nose down, let's switch radio frequencies here. United 211, you can do 4,000 feet, QNH 1018. 1018, Nigel. Julian approaching with a 264, climbing through 1,400 for 2,000. Great, at 264, Julian approaching again. 2,000 feet is outside my airspace. You can return to the call, please, definitely. Alright, uh, 3,000 and I'll stay with the Unicom on BFR to Aquila. Confirm that 2,000 or 3,000? Roger, I'll take, uh, 3,000. Okay, so if you're going to maintain 3,000, that is for me with me. Uh, for 3,000 you want me to stay with you? A first remain with me, and you can maintain BFR at below 3,000. Roger, we'll go on below 264. He's ready to slap me. So the reason he's saying that is because uh, it is kind of it's difficult to hear. I, I have the um, I have this running through the speakers. Turn my fuel pumps off so that you guys can hear it. So otherwise, it doesn't record it. Um, fuel pumps off. When you turn your fuel pumps off, always check your fuel pressure. Um, which actually in this plane really shouldn't be a big deal because my guess is it is probably uh, it is probably gravity fed um, but the reason he's saying to stay with him is because this VFR corridor right here between St. Bart's and Anguilla or well, in between St. Bart's and... United 211, to 2,600 feet and every to all navigation, feet over Abaki Great. Pass. Back down to 2,600 on navigation, United 211. Is for, uh, is 2,000 feet or below. So above 2,000 feet, you're actually in Juliana airspace. And if you were really flying this, you wouldn't, you wouldn't climb to 3,000 and, and get into Juliana's airspace just because you wouldn't want to bother them, really. But I've never really, I don't know, pilots are weird, like, uh, 50 feet below our cruise altitude, let's pull the props back a little bit, power to 23 inches. Pilots are kind of weird in that they, they, they almost seem to, to look at ATC or having to engage with anybody outside of their own little cockpit as being kind of like an intrusion or like a buzzkill and I've never really understood it. Um, and United 211, you're clear for the RNAV 10. Kanabaki clear for RNAV 10, United 211. You know, like they kind of go out of their way to just do their own thing rather than be in like positive control of air traffic control, for example. I just, I've just never really understood it. Like, I'd rather be. Whenever you come to QAGD, I'm going to approach Hello, Squawk 4553. Negative 4553. 4553. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying is that I've got my. I've got that sim output running through my speakers because for some reason if I have it running through my headphone. Number two, seven kilo identified. Uh, Juliana information Charlie. Can inspect the RNF approach to runway one zero. Maintain crashing heading. I can't. Uh, it won't record. So I run it through my speakers so that you guys can. Jane, approach Shepard 787 with you, 11 
So two seven eight seven Juliana approach hello Juliana is meeting Charlie. Expect the RNF approach to runway one zero. Turn right heading one eight zero and defend to flight level seven zero. Right one eight zero down to uh, flight level seven zero, and we have Charlie jump seventy seven. Um. So that you guys can hear it, but it's a, it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to understand sometimes. And I hate having to ask for a repeat. Like, you know, air traffic control to repeat something, it just bugs me. You always want to pay attention when you're flying. So there's Grand Cass Airport right there. Which is... Uh, United 311, contact Juliana Tower. From 1-8-7, good day. 1-8-7, United 211, good day. Which is... Uh, you always want to pay attention when you're flying past the departure end of a runway, make sure nobody's taking off into you. It's also why you want your landing lights off on landing lights on on takeoff is so that other other aircraft can see you. November two seven kilos, turn left heading three zero zero. Seven eight seven defense to four thousand feet QNH one zero one eight. Four thousand feet QNH one zero one eight ship with seventy seven. Cool is that? Surely on approach, I'm with a two six four starting to be a far descent to you, CJ Lloyd. I'm good at two six four Roger, uh runway one one eight use as uh, DJ Lloyd to join the left hand correction, let's join the left quarter for runway one one. Uh, left crosswind for runway 11, uh, Gwila 264. Left crosswind, that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean left crosswind? Oh, okay. He wants me, wants me to make a left hand traffic pattern. Alright, there we go. November 27 kilos, then you fly the full 70. <laughs> that took me a little bit to figure out. Negative, flight level 70, zero, zero, 070. Zero. We're not going to have a difficult time finding... Finding a... Uh, screenshot for this video. So now we're getting pushed pushed from the right here. Which is all well and good. Jetflu 787, defend to 2,600 feet and read all navigation. Speed direct to Avaki. Send to maintain 2,600 to make Avaki ship with 77. I bet you most people, if you've given them that instruction, enter left crosswind for runway 11, they would do the same thing I did, which is like, what, 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 what are you talking about? Uh, standard traffic pattern is the left hand pattern, but I mean, in this case, you would probably normally have given me uh, enter a right base. Oh well, good. Doesn't make any difference. Doesn't make any difference. Fuel pumps on. Mixtures are rich. There is Anguilla. And. Left downwind. Eagle one, Juliana approach. Eagle one, Juliana approach. Hello, Juliana information. Charlie, maintain speed as far as below flight level one five zero and proceed. So, Roger for Eagle two nine zero. We'll do the trick. And go down two six four. Surface winds one hundred degrees, one knots. Charlie one one. Turn to land. 
Runway 11 and runway 11 and go to 264. Alright, so. Joshua 787 from Vaki, clear for the RNF 10. Clear for the RNF 10, Tipple 77. And we'll be coming out over. Coming out over sandy ground here. ground right in front of us. I'm on the fence right now about buying tickets on Aquila for uh, for August and I think uh, the fence is getting shorter and shorter because ah, I just miss this place. I really do. Uh, JetBlue 787, contact Juliana Tower, Good day. 18647, JetBlue 787, good day. I'm gonna pull some power out because if I let the nose drop, I'm gonna lose some speed, or excuse me, pick up some speed, and I don't really want to do that. All right, a few pumps on, flaps are set. It's really kind of churlish in here, so I want to be very cautious here. Very jumpy. Alright, props full forward, make sure the props full forward, your pumps on, flaps are set, seatbelts are secure, we are cleared to land. That's one I want to add to my pre-landing checklist, is make sure you're cleared to land, because I, I, I landed without a landing clearance in the sim. November 2, 7 kilos, turn left heading 280. And, uh... I like to avoid that experience in both in the sim and in real life. Uh, Eagle One, Juliana approach. Little cross Eagle One, here. Yes, sir. Right. We're just west of Anguilla Airport. Would like to request a touch and go. Look at that. Eagle One, confirm you want to make a touch and go at Anguilla first. Yes, sir. Please. Eagle One, Roger. That's approved. Looking for D to Anguilla. Into Anguilla for Eagle One. Thank you. Did you guys see that? That was a that was a legit crosswind land. And uh, Eagle One, you can expect runway one one. Runway one one for Eagle One. That was a legit crosswind land. November two seven kilos. Descend to four thousand feet. Q and H one zero one eight. And uh, turn right heading three five zero. In the Islander. That was a legit crosswind landing. Yeah, no problem, it's heading 350. Thank you, thank you. The thank you,
November 2017 kilos, 10 to 2,600 feet, and we don't want to navigate. Proceed directly to Avaki. Set the flaps. Set the parking brake. Lights are off. Avionics. Master off. Mags off. Master and battery switches off. And let's open the doors. Um, let the humans free. And I don't think we're done yet, guys. I don't think we're done yet. Um, I think it's time for one last little hop over to... Uh, to St. Martin. I think we should do that. Um, this is Clayton J. Lord International Airport. They're doing a lot of work on this airport right now. And this is also the home, Anguilla, that is of the gentleman who won not only the 100 meters but also the 200 meters at the UK Athletics Championships this weekend Mr. Zarnell Hughes uh, is from Anguilla and he is now the double UK champion in 100 and 200 meters and just uh, dominated both races literally dominated both races uh, so congratulations to Captain Zarnell Hughes um, uh, just a good dude <laughs> just a good dude and uh, fellow flight sim enthusiast, fellow pilot. Um, so, couldn't I, w I would have been remiss not to have mentioned that. Let's turn the master and battery switches on. Let's get a look at how much fuel we've got here. All right, let's do our last hop over to St. Martin. Let's see what kind of traffic he's got. What is this Eagle 12? What? So apparently there's a pair of F-16s coming to do touch and goes here at Anguilla. I'm going to turn the radio on so we can hear them. <laughs> Bizarre. That's pretty cool. There's a couple of guys from, a uh, couple of guys coming in. There's a flight of two, it looks like, uh, out of San Juan. Coming into Anguilla in like I said, in F-15s. Shouldn't be too long before they're here. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves started here. What is the ATIS over at ATIS Information Charlie? All right, so we'll hear him coming in. Mixtures and props full forward. Uh, let's see, rotating beacon on, fuel pumps on, fuel valves are open. Magnetos on Clear the broad. left. So let's close the doors before we start. Uh, November 2017 kilos. Just our tier temperature decrease. Runway 11. Pressure runway 10. Clear to runway 10. Thank you pretty easy. Doing touch and goes. And uh, either one. After the touch and go, join the left hand circuit for runway 11. Surface winds are 100 degrees. 1 to knot. Runway 11. This is a touch and go. They were touch and go for Eagle One. I don't, I don't think touch and go is yeah, Eagle One. After the touch and go, so that's the only one. Alright, uh. Roger for Eagle see. One. 
Let's engage the tow brakes, crack the throttles. Take a look outside, make sure there's nobody out there to kill or maim. Start the I didn't do anything, did it? Why not? Hmm. Oh, external power supply. Ha <laughs> ha. I was starting to sweat there for a second. There we go. Uh, right engine is started. Left prop is clear. Julian approach or St. Martin approach. Uh, Silver Wings one nine or five nine er. We are descending one one thousand for Dandy. Silver Wings one nine or five nine er. Julian approach. Uh, information Charlie now current. Expect the R nine approach to runway one zero. Turn right heading zero one zero. Right, zero one zero for Silver Wings one nine or five nine er. We'll expect the R nine one zero approach for Silver Wings one nine or five nine er. I just want to see this guy do touch and go. In an F-15. Alright, make sure you leave taxi. Let's turn our lights on. Stop horsing around here. Uh, Julian approaching Angola 264 on the ground. Uh, Angola ready for taxi. VFR to St. Martin. Angola 264. Roger. Taxi holding point. Bravo. Runway 11. Only four point Bravo. Runway 11. And I meant to say uh, VFR to Juliana. There are four. Two St. Martin airports. Roger. Roger. So one thing you don't want to do is talk too much on the radio. It's sort of stupid. Alright, let's make sure our brakes are working. Brakes are working fine. Alright, let's set some takeoff flaps here. I can't imagine. Goes, oh. So apparently that's what an F-15 looks like in that's in model matching. And that's pretty much what I expected a touch and go on an F-15 to look like. Not very good. Mangola 264, are you ready to copy clearance? A-firm, Mangola 264. Mangola 264, maintain the AFR is below 3,000 feet, and uh, runway 11, join your left-hand circuit, walk 4546. Alright, maintain VFR at or below 3,000, squawking 4546, Mangola 264, and we are ready for departure. No backtrack needed. Angola 264, roger, fly on, wait, runway 11. Line up and wait, 11, angle 264. Alright. Silver Wings 1905 Niner, we touch squawk 4563. 4563, Silver Wings 1905 And when they tell you line up and wait, get your butt out there. Like, one thing you want to, like, when you call ready for taxi, be ready for taxi. When, when you call ready for departure, call, you know, be ready for departure. Don't be sitting there like with your window open. Silver Wings 195 identified. Descend to flight level 70. And not. Descend flight level 70. Silver Wings 195 Niner. Angola 264. Circuit winds are. Form of the degrees 17 knots. Runway 11. You're clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Runway 11. Angola 264. Mixtures and props full four. Fuel pumps are on. Flaps are set. Takeoff power. Eagle 1. Connect to the circuit and proceed to State Martin. Coming in. Take off power. Can you repeat for Eagle One? Eagle One, exit the circuit and proceed to Juliana Airport. Which is precious in the green airspeed. And we've been serving and reporting to Juliana Airport for Eagle One. And off we go. As my friend Pete would say, let's go commit aviation. November 2, Tokyo, welcome to Juliana Airport. Backtrack on my 1 0 and take it to the uh, Charlie.
Two seven kilo, you can expect the uh, final choice. Thousand VHL. Let's turn our fuel pumps off. Let's check our fuel pressures. Fuel pressures are looking good. Zangueda 264, traffic address 2 o'clock, 6 miles, in the case taking 2 dust, 600 feet, it's a flight up to 2 F-15 to the port site. Uh, can you give me the direction again? Uh, it's address 2 o'clock, currently 6 miles. Roger, I believe I have them in Zangueda 264, what's their altitude? Uh, they're currently indicating 2 down to 300 feet, and if you have them in sight, then follow the traffic. Uh, negative contact at Willow 264. Four five on the ground. Uh, Juliana, information Charlie, ready to copy clearance. Attention, I'm calling for transfer standby and break break. In that case, Willow 264, uh, maneuver westbound. Uh, continue westbound on Willow 264. And that station calling for clearance confirmed that was Caribbean 945. Affirmative. Standby. Eagle 1, join left base, runway 10. Left base for 10, Eagle 1. Caribbean 945 clearance. Okay, we're ready to copy clearance, Caribbean 945. Caribbean 945, Juliana Information Charlie, clear to destination Tango Golf Papa Yankee, the radar frequency departure, runway 10. Initial climb is 4,000 feet and swap 4531. Can you just say the name of the departure one more time? Yep, radar frequency departure. Alright, Caribbean 945, we have information Charlie, we're clear to destination runway 10, radar vector departure, uh, initial climb 4,000, swap 4531. Caribbean 945, three back correct, report ready for push and start, break, November 27 kilo, expedite AK. They're going to 1905, you then to 4000 feet, QNH 1018. 4000 feet, 1018, so we're on 1905 knots. Number 270, thank you, stand up twice. Eagle 1, surface wind 0, 30 degrees, 1, 2 knots, from a 1, 0, clear to land. Clear to land, Eagle 1. Caribbean 945, ready to push and start. Caribbean 945, push aggression. Uh, do you have the aircraft currently taxiing inbound from Charlie and Sykes? Yeah, we have the traffic inside, 945. Okay, Caribbean 945, that traffic is going to be taxiing to a stand, so just be ready to set. Push and start to approve. Alright, we'll let them pass. Push and start to approve, Caribbean 945. Anguilla 264, join left downwind, runway 10. Left downwind, runway 10, to the 264. Super wings, 1905 miles, with total navigation, you can see direct to Abaki. Direct to Abaki for Super wings, 1905 miles. And approach Angola 264, do you want me left base? Angola 264, sure, join left base, runway 10. Roger, Angola 264. Juliana, approach, hello from Silver Wings 441. We are at Danny with information, Charlie. Silver Wings 441, Juliana, approach, hello, Charlie is correct. Expect the RNF approach to runway 10 and uh, turn right heading 020. Right turn to 020, expecting the RNF to runway 10, Silver Wings 441. Eagle 
Zulu 1, welcome to Juliana, backtrack from a 1 0 and vacate the uh, Echo. Vacate via Echo for Eagle 1. I'll try to do it as quick as I can. Okay, thanks. November 27Q, taxi stand of choice, so whichever stand you want. And the caution and aircraft pushing back from stand number Alpha 2. Yep, sure, no problem. Ah, didn't never turn the fuel Juliana off. approach Delta 1886 on the ground to Juliana with Charlie ready to pick up IFR clearance to New York JFK. Delta 1886, Juliana approach hello, Charlie is correct, clear to JFK, via radar effective departure, runway 10. Initial climb will be 4,000 feet and you can score 4573. Clear to New York JFK via radar vectors, climb 4000, squawk 4573, Delta 1886. Delta 1886, feedback correct, report 24, push and start. We'll call you for push and start, thanks. And going to 264, surface winds are 0, 0, 0, 0 degrees, 1, 2, 5, runway 10, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 10, wheel at 264. Surface winds 1959, speed then to 2600 feet, level by Baki. 2600 level by a Bucky, still going to 9 Surf Wings 441, you to flight level 70. Flight level 70 for Silver Wings 441. Eagle 1, Eagle 1, Juliana Airport, Taki Sound of Choice, parking here at Winner. Get Taki Sound of Choice, good night. Have a good day, thank you. Alright, so we've had a pretty good day of flying, so let's try and make this one. And uh, the wings 1959 from Ibaki, you're clear for the RNAV 10. From Ibaki, we're clear for the RNAV 10, server so wings 1959. The one thing I don't want to do is get super slow here. I have this guy. Not for any reason, like, only simply because I, I don't want to be a nuisance. It's one thing you got to be conscious of when you're flying in congested airspace. Is, you know, you kind of got to be conscious. Here, Blink 441, Resort Navigation, Proceed Direction, Avaki. Oh, Nav 2, Avaki, Silver Wings 441. Let it drop a little bit here so we can get on the glide slope. Alright, a few pumps on flaps are set. This is just garbage. This really is garbage. You're going 441, 74,000 feet, QNH 1018. 1018 on the altimeter and 4,000 feet for Silver Wings 441. That was absolute garbage. Caribbean 945 ready for taxi. Caribbean 945, taxi holding point Alpha, runway 10. Taxi holding point Alpha, runway 10, Caribbean 945. Anguilla 264, welcome to Juliana Airport, taxi stand of choice for today. Taxi stand of choice for Anguilla 264, thanks a lot for your help today, have a good evening. Yes. That was absolute garbage. Surf wings 195 banner, surface wind 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, I was never steady state on that approach. 
was never steady state on that approach. And what I mean by that is I never got a constant energy state to maintain, you know. Uh, I needed to, to pull some power out much earlier than I did, get myself down on glide slope, and... Um, and uh you know get establish an airspeed <laughs> and you know and i just never did that which is and you saw like when i was like real are you serious <sighs> i mean i've seen a lot of things at microsoft flight simulator but that's a little bit Ridiculous. Caribbean number four five, are you ready for departure? Negative, we'd rather hold for the traffic. We need to troubleshoot a quick problem anyway. Caribbean number four five. Caribbean number four five, Roger, report ready. Wilco number four five. And you saw it when uh, on the touchdown, like the flare and the touchdown, I was just searching and searching and searching. Mixture's idle, cut off, throttles are idle. Set the parking brake. Let's turn our lights off. Uh, avionics master off, fuel pumps off. Mags off, master uh, flaps up. Master and battery switches off. Let's open all the doors and let the humans out. Um, yeah, that was just. That, uh, nice approach into uh, St. Bart's a tr very very nice landing in Anguilla and the easiest of the three by a country mile and I <laughs> I laid down a stinker eh, what are you going to do um, it was still a good time and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it felt nice getting back on the airplane, in this airplane. Uh, I think a little bit of uh, maybe the problems I was having on my last video wasn't necessarily the controls and getting those settings right. I think maybe the airplane was just a little too light. Because uh, it felt good today and I forgot to adjust the, uh, the weight and balance, which means it was completely full for this flight, or for this round of flights so you know um anyway i had a good time hope you guys had a good time and uh we will talk next time